What does it mean to touch the past, to feel the spirit of history, and to preserve the devotion to profession? They will face these questions tomorrow, but today might be the first day they heard the language of the earth, realized the mystery of plant, saw the time stop hidden behind the glass. The time bows its head before the knighthood and reveals the secret only to those who devote themselves to people. 9th of Pharmacy The 200th anniversary of the establishment of the state's training of pharmaceutical personnel in Ukraine happened to coincide with the 200th anniversary of the National Pharmaceutical University. And it is not a historical justice. For two centuries, under the blessing of Kharkiv, there have been taking place such events in the university that can be called epochal. This city has become a capital of pharmacy. They have learned to work and obtained education. And the architectural composition, called pharmacy in centuries, is a handmade embodiment of traditional heritage, a kind of unity of the past and the future. Yeah. I am proud of the youth, proud of those who come to the universities, because the future of our country depends on them. I am always nervous. To my mind, the person who is not nervous is not a human being at all. You have to be nervous because I come to this holiday every year, like the first time, and I am certainly nervous. Why Kharkiv was meant to be the city where in 1805 the Imperial University had been founded? Obviously, due to special geographical distribution of the region. But it's not the principal reason. From the ancient times, Kharkiv was an important cultural and educational, administrative and political center. Since 1726, college worked there, which could have become a source of the student personnel of the future university. Highly respected state authorities, the main representatives of Ukrainian nobility and merchantry, supported the idea of the establishment and financing of such institution. Highly educated person and public figure Vasil Karazin found convincing proofs and strong arguments, and the Emperor Alexander I issued the highest decree about the establishment of the university. The Imperial Kharkiv University Charter states The Imperial Kharkiv University shall be the highest educational institution established for teaching science. No one shall be accepted to the university as a student without having the knowledge required for courses that are being taught at the university. I am proud of Karazin, who came to Alexander II and said, There shouldn't be Slobodzhanshina there should be a university. And Ukraine was almost unknown that time, but nevertheless, one had to make it important. And such a university was established. And in this university, they started to train personnel, doctors and lawyers, and there also was a place for pharmacy. This is a genealogical tree not of an ancient family. These are some kinds of roots and crowns of the past and present of the Ukrainian pharmaceutical education, in the core of which there stands the family elder, its head, the Imperial University, and now the Kharkiv National Pharmaceutical University named by Vasil Karazin. September is a happy month for the university. It was September of 1921 when the first autonomous educational institution in Ukraine, the Kharkiv Pharmaceutical University, was opened upon the initiative of the group of professors of the Kharkiv University. Its first head became organic chemist Mykola Valashko. He is still being told legends about people banned before him, and his methods of teaching are being generalized. The aim of his activity had become upholding of necessary pharmaceutical education. Thankful students and postgraduate students called him our father. He really was for them a demanding teacher, a kind tutor, and the most important, he was a professional. 
The professionalism is a basis on which Harky Pharmaceutical School is still standing. It is always hard to be pioneers, but their names are engraved in the history of the city, in the historical of the Ukrainian pharmaceutical education. Year 1921, the opening of Kharkiv Pharmaceutical Institute. 1922, receiving of the status of Ukrainian Pharmaceutical Academy. 1999, gaining the status of National Pharmaceutical Academy. 2002, reorganization into National Pharmaceutical University. How, by means of numbers and facts, we can describe the university? This pharmaceutical galaxy of 15,000 students. The National Pharmaceutical University is a unique scientific and teaching team. 84 professors, more than 350 senior lecturers and candidates of science, 73 doctors, 15 academicians and corresponding members of the National and Branch Academies of Science of Ukraine, and 11 honored science workers are working on the 52 departments of the 11 faculties. What is being taught at the university? For medicine is a special product and only educated people and more than that only people who care can touch it. Can we compare the production of medicines with creativity? Yeah. But chemists, technologists, pharmacologists, clinical physicians, marketologists and economists instead of actors are taking part in its birth. This is a really cooperative work. There are no secondary parts, casual episodes. The level of education in pharmaceutical institutions should be extremely high because its price is human health and life. In Kharkiv, they could meet this requirement at the highest level. Today, National Pharmaceutical University is the only educational institution of the pharmaceutical profile in the world that has the highest level of accreditation in Ukraine. The diploma of the university is recognized all over the world. Here, on the basis of the secondary education, specialists of the widest range of contemporary specialists are trained. Pharmacy, clinical pharmacy, technology of perfumery cosmetic remedies, technology of pharmaceutical preparations, laboratory diagnostics, industrial biotechnology, economy of the enterprise, marketing, management of the organization. The unique professors and teaching team, exclusive methods of teaching, the most modern material base of the National Pharmaceutical University, give the diploma of this institution the conformity with the highest international standards and Kharkiv higher education the unique authority. For the recent five years, the number of students and lecturers of the National Pharmaceutical University became three times bigger. The tendencies of the modern world are obvious. It is the high-quality pharmaceutical education that is the foundation upon which the world of medicine is based. Moreover, educated specialists are the basis of progress and prosperity not only of the pharmaceutical sphere, but for the country in the whole. Let's say 60% of the working resources of the USA, Germany and Japan for today have the higher education. But there they set the task to increase this figure to 90%. So Ukraine, where only 10% of the working people have the higher education, in its seeking for the progress on its way to the sovereign development should orientate itself upon the world leaders, goals and trends. And the role of such leaders of our education as the National Pharmaceutical University assumes special and extremely important character, and the importance of its best experience is of national scale. The university is always oriented on the future. It is the place where one wants to surpass the time, to look into tomorrow, to anticipate the development of the field direction. Even now, they are taking care of training chemist synthesis, that is a drug designer, phytochemists, eco-biotechnologists, clinical pharmacologists and specialists on quality control. That's why, saying in 1992, there was established a new speciality, the industrial pharmacy. Ukraine has received a thousand engineer technologists, 
of the pharmaceutical manufacturer. At the beginning of the 90s, the young nation needed them, and Ukrainian pharmacy responded to the call of time, and that enabled to escape the stagnation of the pharmaceutical industry and to fill up the pharmaceutical market with Ukrainian medicine. Common foreign experts admit that today in National Pharmaceutical University the model of the 21st century specialist is successfully realized. They have a great future. The European context has become a usual everyday rule here. Professors and students are directly implementing the provisions of Bologna Declaration, successfully adjusting to the European standards of education and are admitted to the development of the basis of the European integration of Ukrainian pharmaceutical education. Ukraine not only opens the door to the specialists of the EU pharmacy, it wants to